I was I was sitting here reflecting on different moments where I used to be instructed and sometimes chastised by my mom, but my mom had a habit of saying uh, the waiting game, the waiting game. When I found myself in some mess, my mom had a habit of saying, and however she was chastising me or correcting me, she would, she, you know, she would always say, I can't tell you nothing to save your life, but you're going to learn the hard way. And I did. And anybody who's been hard-headed, you may not have, have, have heard that, you know, um, but you probably don't heard something like it, you know. Anybody who hard-headed know that. But I say that in reflection to be able to say, I can't say nothing to stop you from dying, but I can say something for you to better decide how you gonna live in the experience that we that we do have and that we do call life. You hear me? I say that because it's more work needed to be done in us than what we're working for in the world. I'ma repeat, it's more work needed to be done in us than what we work for in the world. You hear me? And when you decide to step it up from the inside out. Only a few people out of all the people that you know gonna stay around when you do. And out of those few people, those are people who nine times out of 10 decided to grow with you and make some changes in, in them so they can grow with you. You hear me? Just a few of us, you heard? So pay attention. Don't be in no rush. Don't be in, don't be in, 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 in the race. You hear me? Because there ain't no competition. Sometimes it's a waiting game. You heard? Sometimes it's a waiting game. You hear me? I be hearing, I be hearing y'all in the astral rounds. Uh, uh, complaining about y'all don't want to do this every day. You know? But some people do. Who want to do this every day? I do. That's who, me, Sawu, and I and I and I applaud y'all who do show up. No matter how many, how large or how few, I applaud y'all who show up to do this every day. You hear me? Wherever, whether it's with me, you know, or wherever you can, whatever space you can come into and get some things and grab some tools and listen to some insights to help you upgrade and expand yourself. I salute you, you hear me? I wanna do this every day because who I am today ain't who I always been, you hear me? Um, as y'all heard me say before, we all got a backstory, you heard? <laughs> um, but I do it regardless of how I feel, regardless of if I want to, each and every day, cause consistency is key. You hear me? And learn to come through repetition. You heard a shot. I'm just a shallow master. Don't become a master. And one day it go through years and years and years and years of training. A champion boxer don't become a champion in one day. It's years and years and years and years of training. You hear me? A uh, 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 a track star don't become that in one day years and years and years of training you hear me so who want to do this every day we do those of us who show up and as i show up i appreciate y'all who show up with me you heard um regardless of how you feel regardless of whether you want to or not you, because you know in doing something that's that's that improve your self-improvement and doing something to do to to improve to to, to improve the development of your self-envelopment by doing something to make you more aware of your self-awareness, by doing something to uh, boost your esteem, concerning your self-esteem, and doing something that allow you to reflect upon the way you self-reflect and doing something that discipline you 
to help you improve your self-discipline and doing something that inspire you to improve your ability to inspire yourself and doing something that motivates you to be self-motivated. Who wouldn't want to do this every day? Because, because, <laughs> and knowing, and knowing how I used to be and upgrading, <laughs> growing, maturing from that space that I was used to and comfortable there, I know it's I know it's a whole lot more people still uncomfortable in that space that they don't find themselves comfortable comfortable in. And and wish <laughs> wish upon all the wishes stars they can wish upon, you hear me, that they was able to do something about it and don't. So that's why I do this. So who wanna do this every day? You hear me? We do. You heard? I was led to say that for whatever, for whatever reason. I was led to say that, but that's the marriage. You know, that's the marriage with me, myself, and I. See, that's the marriage that we have with ourselves if we're here in a physical embodiment within this living experience. That's the contractual agreement. That's the, that's the, that's the contractual, spiritual contractual agreement that we made in order to be here in this living experience. And, uh, and since ain't nobody coming to save us and, and, and ain't nobody came back to tell us how it is, you know, on the other side, we have to tap into it while we on this side to know, you hear me? We better be, we better uh, be doing something to save ourselves, you hear me? Today's card is the uh, waiting game. We're gonna see what it's talking about. This card indicates that you work hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life. And you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition. The number two could be a life path too. You hear me? Your birthday could be on the second. And it's somebody's birthday every day. Um, two signifies uh, duality or six. Two can signify polarity, you know, the shadow self both sides, masculine and feminine, so forth and so on. The number two is all about choices and decisions. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by this fear or the constraints or the constraints of old beliefs. Expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your intuition which is presently very strong. Trust and use it to assist you. Achievement and success are assured, but once obtained, don't let it change you. <whistles> wow. Wow. Get that spirit man in order first. <laughs> Get that spirit man in order first. I love confirmation. See, it's about what need to be done in us. Not what we working for to, to possess in the world. That's gonna come. Get that spirit man right. I bet you it's gonna come. And ain't nothing gonna show up how we wanted to show up in the way that we wanted to show up to anyway. So it's gonna be a waiting game. You hear me? Achievement and success are assured. But once obtained, don't let it change you. Don't let it get to your head, no. No, you hear me? A 70 babies, 80 babies, you know, definitely 60. Y'all know that song, don't let it get to your head. You know, you can have, if, if you meant to have it, you can. And you will do the things, do the, do the things that line up for, for, for it to be easier. You hear me? For it to be easier obtained. And don't let it change you. Remember who you are. The effort that it took to get you to this point. And the gratitude you need to show to the people who help you. <whistles> See, the, I just said it not long, not, not, not long ago. It's the people who we have got, got the help from. Who went unnoticed. Who went unappreciated. You know, who we took advantage of. All that got to be amended. All that got to be redeemed. You know, 
if not if 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 not to those people, at least in how you treat everybody else, because karma is real and it don't discriminate. It don't care who do it, got a knock on it, and it knock on everybody do when it's time to, you hear me? And good, bad, or indifferent. You heard? But when it appear, it, it appear to show us something. Don't let it change you. Assess and, ass, achievements and success are assured. Don't let it change you. Remember who you are. The effort that it took to get to this point. And the gratitude you need to show to the people who help you. Stay on your spiritual path. For it will continue to guide you on the journey of your soul. You hear me? I don't even want to put no, I don't even want to put no more flame on that. You hear me? We're gonna put a gas pump. <laughs> that was so that 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 flame, that flame, according to what I opened it up with, it don't need no more help. So I ain't gonna even put no more flame on that. That was enough fuel. So we're gonna put a gas pump in the comment section for the end of the month raffle. I think we're probably gonna do a hat. But we're gonna put a gas pump in the comment section uh, for the end of this month's raffle. Uh, I appreciate you all, Cosmic Conscious Family and Soul Tribe. Greetings to the Cosmic Beings incarnated on Earth to find their sacred purpose. Greetings to all the co-creators who are participating in this experience, in this journey, along with me. And um, as, as, as we find our, our way back home through the heaven of, uh, of our inner being, you hear me? I appreciate I appreciate enjoying this thing we come in, we call life. You hear me? My name is Sabu. Um, feel good for no reason at all. You hear me? That is your divine birthright. You know, we gotta. We everybody wanna. Everybody wanna be at their high, highest peak. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, and, and and life gives us the opportunity to go go through the things so we can develop the mental aptitude, the emotional intelligence. You see, and uh, uh, along with uh, keeping our physical specimen fine-tuned to be able to do just that. So I appreciate y'all enjoying this experience with me. And, and be patient, because patience is a part of the waiting game. You heard? Gas pump emoji. My name is Saul. I love y'all.